Cerebral palsy is the most common motor disability in children. It's generally been thought to be the result of birth injury. However, we've seen increasing interventions such as C-section and fetal monitoring, and they've had little effect on cerebral palsy rates. We've previously shown that at least 14% of kids with cerebral palsy had a genetic change likely to be the cause, but we didn't really understand the processes involved very well. So this is the first large-scale investigation of gene activity in kids with cerebral palsy. We were surprised to uncover a strong link between genes disrupted in cerebral palsy and what's been reported for autism in the literature. We found several common changes, including changes to the immune response and changes to signals involved in development of the brain. And this gives us a better idea of what's actually going on in cerebral palsy and may provide targets for intervention. And we're starting to know a bit about the genetics and downstream processes in cerebral palsy now, but we also want to look at epigenomics and the impact that the environment can have on gene activity. It's certainly not a one gene disorder and we want to dig deeper to understand the contributions of genes and environment to the origins of cerebral palsy.